We have some scattered evening showers around the region. Those showers coming to an end later tonight with mostly cloudy skies overnight chilly. 41 degrees for an overnight low in Spokane. Tomorrow, a high of 66 with partly to mostly cloudy skies. We'll start the day off with partly cloudy conditions. The clouds increase as the day goes on. If you have Friday night plans, I would expect that you're going to run into some showers. Winds will be picking up in the afternoon northeast at 5 to 15. Only 59 are high today. Almost 10 degrees below average. Yesterday, we were 10 degrees above average. No precipitation at the airport since midnight. We did get a little bit of rain uh, last night before midnight, and they zeroed out the rain bucket. 8.27, our sunset time. It's 58 right now in Spokane, mostly cloudy. Southwest winds at 13, cloudy and 55 in Coeur d'Alene with southeast winds at 11. A look at our Doppler radar again. Most of the wet weather in the Northeast Mountains and the Okanagan Highlands. We do still have that flash flood warning in effect for the next three minutes for South Central Okanagan County, including the Carl and complex burn scar cold front from the thunderstorms last night or that produced the thunderstorms last night now well off to the east but we are left with a big dip in the jet stream we have this upper level trough that will keep things unsettled showery occasional isolated mainly mountain thunderstorms and cool through the weekend and uh, it looks like especially wet on Saturday. Meanwhile, chilly tonight, potential frost in Republic, Deer Park, Spirit Lake, Cheney, Colville, some of the other outlying areas. This is not an exhaustive list. Uh, expecting temperatures to stay just above freezing, but a little bit of clearing and just the right conditions and uh, tomatoes take a hit. Overnight lows tonight down in the 30s and 40s again. Forecasted lows just above freezing, but it wouldn't take much of a clearing uh, to drop those temperatures further. Tomorrow's highs a little bit warmer than today, back up in the 60s and 70s, closer to average tomorrow. But then we are cool and showery again on Saturday. Looks like a lot of the wet weather will be Friday overnight into Saturday morning and then hit and miss showers on Saturday. Sunday, more showers with a high of 60 degrees. We dry out a little bit and warm up heading into the middle of next week.